Creative Wearables Challenge 1, 2021, inspired by somewhere you've been. Jean Burbeck, Tianjin, China. Tianjin, the largest ancient building in China, exemplifying traditional architecture of the Tang Dynasty, inspired this cross over top. It is made of two weights of cotton, medium weight tucked, and heavy weight sand castle weave. This is a modified Kayla Kennington pattern. Jane Wolf, Sagrada Familia, Barcelona, Spain. The many stained glass windows at the Sagrada Familia Basilica create a transcendent atmosphere and place for reflection and introspection. These colors are represented in a pieced, lined, and quilted jacket. The pattern is a McPhee pattern given to me by Sherry Olmsted. It started out as a large quilt, then sliced down the middle for the front and folded to create the shoulders. This is the finished jacket. The material for the binding and cuffs was a gift from Eleanor Peace Bailey. Kathy Powell, a Palm Springs Cactus Garden. This reversible jacket reminds me of a cactus garden in Palm Springs. A couple collected cactus from all over the world as a hobby in the 30s and 40s. When they passed, the family gave the gardens to the city or county. Some of the cactus had grown so large they grew through the greenhouse windows. Karen Graves Wildlife Refuge and Ledbetter State Park, Washington State. Willapa Bay, a vast estuary, is a place of big ebbing water. On sunny days, it can ricochet dozens of hues, blue, silver, pewter, and lavender. The bay is desolate and filled with grasses, a favorite walk for Karen's inspiration and peace. High March Eel and the invasive Spartina makes a grassy, furry paradise. The grasses grow in the bay and on the land, and when they die, there's a mass mat of threads on mud and sand. I was inspired to make this grassy hat. The Willapa Bay grassy hat is made of hand-dyed and distressed canvas, 100% cotton in a size medium. Sherry Jo Vallette. Sherry was inspired by the pottery that she brought years ago in Mexico. She created a carrier purse for her laptop using Shiva sticks to color birds on the felt and then embroidered them. She chose colors to go with the feathers in the lining. Carolyn Walwin, Indonesia Batik Obtained in Java. Embellishment on this purchased denim vest started with an Indonesian batik obtained in Java 30 years ago. The batik was cut to fit the back of the vest and given a more dynamic shape. The mask faces were trumputoed and adorned with hand-sewn beads. She sewed accent braiding to the collar edge and beaded fringe to the hem. Joanne Carpenter Mount Fuji. In November 2012, Joanne visited her son and his family in Tokyo. They stayed one night at a traditional Japanese inn near the base of Mount Fuji. In the evening, she and her daughter-in-law went to the onsen, a natural hot springs pool. There were windows around the pool where they could look out at Mount Fuji in the moonlight. It was spectacular. Christina Hodges, California. Christina started this rayon bias skirt in California not long before they moved to Oregon. It was inspired by a book titled Bias Cut Blueprint. Christina started with two different floral rayon prints and lengthwise grains, construct skirt, then added four panels of a solid rayon coordinate to add more flair. She finished the skirt with a one inch elastic waistband and a narrow edge hem. The bias skirt will always remind her of California times. Christina made a matching interchangeable bag, a purse pattern from Ellen Medlock collection. She used the scraps from the skirt 
and coup slicing and collage techniques. Beverly Shoger, Lake Powell. The title of this shawl is Lake Powell Quietude. It is a Pashima type scarf with needle felted yarns. Karen McCarty, Cruising. Much of Karen's travel was through cruising and it inspired this bag, Ocean and Waves. It has aplopecine with a muslin lining. It's huge. 24 by 18 with a box bottom. Eleanor P. Spaley, Alberta Street Gallery in Portland, Oregon. Eleanor P. Spaley was inspired to make this jacket after viewing a small things show at Alberta Street Gallery in Portland. She appliqued woven and painted pieces on this quilted jacket and adorned pants, hat, and necklace. When she went to the gallery to model and take these pictures, the artists who welcomed her explained that the little house creator's mother had just died, and she would be excited to know about the inspired jacket. Eleanor said, It lets us know what clothing can do to help us communicate love and respect, as well as the look at me message so satisfying to our artist egos. 